Good evening and welcome to Cooking with Beer. My name is Gene Pierce. I'm your host. And today, our spe very special co-host, Dr. Andy Korb. Hi. We're down here in Rockville, Maryland. I drove down last night. It was a nice little detour ride, but I made it. Hey, Andy. Hey. All right, this, All right is, this is Andy's house. All right, hey, man. Hey, man. This is Dr. Andy Korb. Hey, G. What's going on, buddy? What's happening, dude? Good. Had a handshake, good. You yeah, got something else for me? Sure. How about a nice cold brewski? Yeah, man. All right. And we're here to cook with beer. So, uh, Andy, what are you going to cook today? Well, as we said, we were going to try to cook chicken with beer. So we have chicken, we have beer. We have a whole array of vegetables cut up for both the cooking of the chicken, which is going to be done also with these red potatoes right here. Then we're also going to have a seafood dish with the mussels and with oysters in a can. It's the oyster season here in Maryland. Local product. And here we have the fresh vegetables, which we're going to mix with also with the seafood dish. All right. And uh, what about the beer part? Beer part, we're having Spaten beer, German beer from Munich. Prost. A lager. Ready? Ein Prost, Prost ein Prost, get a gemütlichkeit. Ein Prost, ein Prost, get a gemütlichkeit. Ein, zwei, drei, super. Sorry, we were talking a little bit too much. Um, so great. Andy, whatever made you decide to become a rocket scientist? I've always been interested in space and science and my dad is a physicist also and so I've always enjoyed doing science. I always knew I was going to be a scientist. When, when Andy and I went to school together, um, Andy was working for NASA already and uh, believe it or not, even rocket scientists cook and drink beer. So, cheers. Prost. Prost. No more singing, we'll just drink. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to put the pot out on the barbecue and barbecue it to bake it for about two hours and cook both the chicken and the potatoes. Okay. The chicken is going to be cooked with the aid of this Tetley's beer. We're going to ventilate this beer can and then insert it inside the cavity of the chicken and then cook the beer marinated in the beer which is going to bubble up through the chicken and diffuse all through the chicken and make it really really tender and juicy. It's supposed to be the most tender juicy chicken you could possibly make. So Andy, where are we going? We're going shopping for um, stuff to, for the show tonight but where are we going? What, what place? We're going to go to a market down in D.C. There we go. Uh, ah, here's the, the beer. beer. Here's the beer. I'm Mecca. Look at this. It was $32 Bar a case Steiner. where we were at. Spotten. Corona 749. Spotten right here. We're going to get a case Spotten. or two of that. Now we got to find a can that will fit inside a chicken. Now we got Miller. <laughs> Boxes would be too big. <laughs> what do you think? You saw that chicken. I don't know. It's a good beer, but I think you're. Uh, I think this would be a little ambitious. I don't think you have enough oil. That hand, though. Let's use that a lot of olive oil for that one. That. How about that Kirin Ichiban can? Look at that can. It's a nice big tall can. Here we go. Yeah, there you go. Or is that a six a pack? Can. Well, that's a whole six pack, huh? That's a whole six pack, then. So actually, a four pack. Four pack, four nine nine. But you know. But Eng English ale. Drinking the beer that's in your chicken. How bad can that be? Okay, there you go. There you go. That's right. It's cooking with how beer. How much beer do we have? Is it too much? That, well, we let's have three see. Cases. Two cases of spotten. We basically have three cases. Have, yeah, three and and a four pack. Is that enough? Or is it too much? Or is it like? Just right. We could probably lose this 12 pack lose, of spotting. Lose 12 spotting. Okay. 
All right. Let me guess. That's right. It's only one half-hour show. <laughs> All right. I think we're scored. Now we just got to right, find a vegetable. Okay. We've chosen as tonight's beer to cook the chicken with an English beer, English ale, and we've actually tested this ale ourselves and enjoyed it a lot ourselves. So we figured this would be a great, great beer for this particular chicken. We're, we're marinating the bird with an English ale. We're marinating the chefs with a German lager. <laughs> what kind of pie are you making for dessert tonight? We're going to make apple pie. It goes very well with chicken. Can the viewers get the recipe if they email me? Oh, they sure can. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right, so this is a recipe you've never cooked before, right? Not exactly this recipe, no. Well, this is one of the things I like about you, Andy. You always want to try new things. But I've always wanted to try to get a, a chicken that was moist and not dried out. And so this promises to be a new method. And it All involves right. chicken and beer and good food. Okay, and garlic. All right. Both on the outside and then on the inside. Sure. What we're going to do really is we're going to cover the chicken on the outside with a little bit of olive oil so that the outside gets a glaze on it when it cooks, when it bakes. We're going to take this chicken here, mm -hmm. we're going to take this Tetley's beer can, open it up, holes around the top around a couple of different ways, then insert it on the top of the chicken inside the pot vertically. So that what happens is as the beer bubbles up, as it boils, it will boil up inside the chicken and it will you know, baste the inside of the chicken with beer. Well, I guess if that's the way you're going to be cooked, that'd be a good way to be cooked. If you want a moist, tender chicken, it may be the best way. All right. So uh, let's get started. All right. Enough theory. Let's see about some practice here. Okay, the practice. I'm rubbing down the uh, outside of the uh, bird with some olive oil. I'm just getting it all over it. And any just a nice coating. Uh, okay, we're going to sprinkle a little cayenne pepper. Just on the outside. You're going to do anything on the inside? Or? Or? You're going to do anything on the inside or are they going to leave that up to the beer? We're going to do it just a little bit more on the inside. All right, so it's time to perforate the can. Perforate the can right. and then perforate the chicken with the can. Perforate the, oh. And then we're going to, we're going to impale the chicken with the, <laughs> <laughs> the beer can. <laughs> Okay, so I wasn't sure which is the experimental part. I'm sorry, here we go. Uh, I mean, so let's see. You just using a regular old can opener. Oh, <laughs> baby! I, we knew something fun was oh, going to happen. I guess I should have zoomed out. Is it only on the top, or are you doing it on the sides as well? We're going to do. We're going to just. We're just going to give it an equal opportunity to baste all the way through the through the bird in every direction. <laughs> we're just going to give this bird every opportunity to be to be moist, juicy, and tender. You like moist birds, don't you? I mean, I don't, I, well, I haven't encountered that many moist birds in my life. I mean, I'm not insulting all those mothers and mothers-in-law, potentially. Now, I, here's the part here, right? Oh, no. Beer can. This is the... Chicken. Oh, no, wait, wait, okay. Here's the piece de resistance.